A visitor to this place can readily see the love and work of decades. Flowers everywhere, at least a thousand daffodils planted and other blossoms abound. And the stone fences, hundreds of feet, gracefully arcing across the ridgetop. And the stone steps ascending up the bluff from Lake Tenicomo to the top. 340 steps built by the owner of this land. It took him and his hired hands two years of exhausting labor, hauling mortar and tools by hand from the top further and further down the bluff. Work so difficult they were inspired to leave this inscription. Let those who tread here not forget that these steps were made not of stone and mortar alone, but of sweat and blood and agony. And on the next to last step, the men signed their names, proud of their two years' work. All this is the labor and love of a professor of economics, a man determined that his hilltop home would not fall into the hands of developers who would destroy it. His name, Dr. Lyle Owen. He's retired now and lives in Tulsa. And after years of careful negotiations, he's found a buyer for his beloved property. Dr. Owen had refused probably countless offers by land developers. Years ago, during Branson's building boom, there were those here who wanted to buy this land and turn it into more music shows, restaurants, and motels. But a few here saw this place as a treasure, a precious remnant of what Branson was like before it became Branson. It was a struggle. Many decisions are based upon economics here. There are, however, enough folks that are vocal and willing to say that uh, we need things like this. Rick Davis was among those who believed this place should be preserved. He's a former Branson City Council member, and he helped convince everyone else that the Lyle Orm property should become a Branson City Park. And it happened. The deal was just recently signed. But not everyone on Branson's City Council was convinced. There was not unanimous agreement in the council. There was not unanimous agreement uh, in the business community that we needed a public funded venture like this. But now it's done and this place Lyle Owen worked so hard to create will be saved. The house will stay in the family for now. Perhaps someday it too will be a part of Branson's newest city park. We felt like a lot of us that we were missing a lot of the Ozarks feel. Places of the heart disappear. But if we don't protect something, we may not have much yet left to protect. <laughs>